Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. This channel majorly covers different topics of mechanical engineering and our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. So today's topic will be polypropylene, it's P called PP. So the chapters under PP topic is what is mean by PP and what all the process and inspections involve and advantages and disadvantages of PP and applications of polypropylene. So let us go into the topic. What is PP? The polypropylene is one of the most commonly used thermoplastics in the world and it is having wide applications. It's used in packaging, machinery parts, automobile parts and home appliances. So it's one of the safest plastics to human, hum, human beings and uh, standard number is 5. Then let us see the what is mean by the number 5. Let's see further. So before to that, we, un, we like to understand from where the raw material comes from uh, for this PP plastic. So basically natural gas is, I mean output of natural gas is ethane, propane and butane and same way the crude oil is I mean lead to produce naphtha and naphtha is the byproduct of crude oil and further naphtha helps to produce ethane, propane and butane and that will further uh, lead to production of ethylene, propylene and butylene. So this will be the basic raw material for PP products, PP and you can see over the image over here it's like a granular crystal parts that is a uh, I mean raw materials derived basically from naphtha and this will be further processed and produce the PP grade. It's a BP grade material further produced and based on the applications the final products will come over. So what is this number 5? Now let us come to that point. So it's a basically resin identification number. There are two use of this particular number. One is it gives a identification to the end user by which raw material it is being produced that identification it provides and second one is this number shows how much uh, recyclability plus uh, this particular plastic will have so higher number will means it's tough to recycle and lower number means it's easy to recycle so it starts from one it up to seven the numbers system is followed and one means is easy to recycle and highest number is seven it cannot be recycled so this reveals this recyclability of plastic products so coming to the next topic processes so it's a versatile material easily moldable so majorly injection molding process are being used to produce pp products so you can see a image over here the granular crystal material will be put inside the barrel where high pressure injection will be there done after melting the different section of the barrel will be heated and further solid to liquid it will be just converted in the barrel and with high pressure that liquid will be poured inside the die and it will be hold it for cooling then final solid piece will be coming out of dye this is called injection molding so we normally pps are added with so many additives for improving its mechanical properties and other properties to meet the end applications like some cases we add 30 percent chalk powder 20 percent glass fiber for improving strength impact and uh, stiffness etc so the additives adding is part of pp is to meet end applications so in inspection the inspection point of view there are two types of inspections being followed in this material one is raw material level so density 0.91 melting point high melting point this is one of the high melting point thermoplastics is 165 degrees celsius and hardness 70 so d hardness and tensile strength is 21 to 37 and final product we see MFI this nine varies from 9 to 13 based on additives added and uh, heat resistance and chemical resistance is purely defined by 
customer based on applications so like for example is it is just check that uh, it is kept at say uh, 100 degrees celsius and minus 40 degrees celsius for 3 4 hours or 5 hours depends on the requirement and in multiple cycles this process is getting followed and after that the uh, cracking nature and surface conditions are evaluated uh, and in heat resistant and same way in chemical resistance it is exposed to different chemicals like from water to brake oil to diesel and other uh, food chemicals so these will be exposed to the such a chemicals for a certain duration after that surface conditions and de degradability conditions are evaluated and approved the final product these are the inspections are being followed in pp materials and pp final products to the advantages it is having high chemical resistance good temperature resistance and very cheaper this is a, one of the important advantages easily available good fedex resistance and high melting point and disadvantages it is having poor paint radiation low uv resistance highly inflammable and subject to stress crack poor weatherability and coming to the application is categorized three wide areas where the pps are used in and which type of products that we'll see in short so in domestic and household purpose we can see there are n number of products toys chairs vessels because of the safest plastics and vehicles so vehicle interior plus good scratch resistance it has it has good chemical resistance and this quality make uh, um, pp to use in medical applications like transparent storage kits injections medical device outer bodies these are all the products made in pp uh, thanks friends hope you got basic knowledge and advantages and processes of polypropylene thanks for watching my video please like subscribe and share my videos thank you